All my belief systems about who I am as a person have kept me small all my life, have muted me down and made me feel like I don't have a voice within humanity, within society. I thought about it a lot, I'd think a lot about what I should say, how I should come across best, how I can get people to like me. And coming to meet Balanced View and being invited to simply relax as I am, to take short moments and recognise my innate intelligence, which is the very same intelligence that every other single human being possesses, has, has at their disposal, is their very fundamental nature. And prioritising that, you can see that there's no limit to beneficial potency, that every single moment of being alive is fully alive, fully potent, ready for action, like Candice says. And in the Balanced View Training, we talk about open intelligence, which is that intelligence that we can identify right now. And we can identify it best and very purely and directly by stopping thinking. And that alertness that remains, a brightness, something about us, a quality that's always there, fully knowing. And then all the thoughts come in again and emotions. But what we train up with, with balanced views to see that that quality, that knowing is there, whether there are thoughts and emotions, experiences, different experiences there or not, if we're thinking or not thinking. It's the very basis of our thoughts very basis of every experience, the essence of every experience. And we're just getting used to that fact, and that's what this education is. It's giving every person who wishes to, who is open to, the opportunity to get used to the nature of reality. That we are powerful, that we are open, that we are inherently connected, innately understanding, we don't need to think about it to understand. We understand. And that, was, that really <laughs> took me a while to get used to. Because I was really used to thinking about stuff. To think, that meant you were getting in there, working it out, achieving, doing something well. Okay, I'm going to think about this. You know, something comes up, I'm going to sit with him and think. <laughs> Still thinking, yeah. And thinking that's, that's what I had to do, that's what I'd learned, that's what I'd learned in school, that's what I'd learned from society, and it was the mark of somebody who was um, able to be in the world, to use my mind in the proper way. So to come to the Balanced View training and sit in an open meeting and somebody to invite me to stop thinking, just like, <laughs> what do you mean stop thinking? Like, what's, what's going to happen then? Like. <laughs> That's what keeps everything going, that's what keeps me deciding what I do, that's what keeps me knowing how I'm meant to be in the world. It's like my gauge and my, um, you know, my feelers. So to stop and recognise this bright, potent intelligence that is always there, no matter what, always has been, always will be. And to start prioritising that more and more, and then from there, just see for myself, and this is the key point, that we see for ourselves. It's not about anybody telling us about anything. We see for ourselves benefit. We see the bursting heart of benefit as our innate nature. Unstoppable, totally unstoppable. <coughs> like, try and cap it down. Really, you can't. <laughs> I've tried to shy away from it. Just impossible. It's the most powerful force, the force of nature. And that's what we are. So increasingly, I've bowed down to it, you could say. And what that opens up for me is just such a life of incredible richness, connection, heart connection, love. Moving through life with this sense of deep understanding and settledness in myself, a sense of home. And that is just not what I had before. Relying, so 
the data streams, the experiences that appear within our intelligence, we've just learned to emphasize those. <coughs> the descriptions, the emotions, the thoughts. To single things out and collapse onto them and look only at that. And now we widen our perspective with open intelligence. And so we just let the data be as they are, again and again. And that's what short moments are. It's the greatest non-act act. Just letting reality be completely as it is, letting every single person be exactly as they are, and going from there. And I had so many ideas about how other people should be, right and wrong and politeness. I'm English. <laughs> I had a lot of ideas about politeness. So many. <laughs> like, oof, oof. That's just, just not proper. <laughs> and like really coming into, so taking the support of the four mainstays of balanced view and really within the community, seeing all of my data, things like that coming up, because we're from all over the world. We're from every part of the world, every corner of it. So we all may have our own, we all will have our own data streams and ideas about what's proper, right and wrong. And so it's the greatest opportunity to just settle in open intelligence and see that none of that needs to limit us. Nothing needs to limit us. We are so inherently united. And that's the opportunity of balanced view. And why the imperative of it? Because we can see what happens when we emphasize data streams in ourselves. For myself, the sense of separation and simmering disease, because everything's always changing. The data never stay the same. Every moment completely unique and fresh. And so to emphasize those experiences only is just a rickety raft. And then I just the, the solidity of relying on open intelligence and seeing that everything is welcomed. Nothing ever, you can't lose anything. All the data is still there. You can never get rid of them <laughs> as much as we might want to. And it's settling into that to see that they are perfect. We are perfect. Every moment's presentation completely perfect as it is and, start, and having that as our basis and starting point to live from rather than constantly assessing and analysing and trying to sort of micromanage and change. And it is just testing it out for ourselves through the four mainstays, this incredible support so that we can all learn this about ourselves and learn it in our own way because everybody's life is so unique, precious, completely diverse experience. So it's not about homogenizing anything. It's about celebrating completely the diversity within open intelligence. And so we, come, we can come to meetings like this, trainings, where we hear people share their experience, come together as a community and see it demonstrated in powerful action together, not just a philosophy or an academic undertaking, but real, lived. And then we have, we have short moments of open intelligence, which we can just claim at any moment, our own self-empowerment, no matter what's happening, checking in with open intelligence. And then we have a trainer, somebody who we can let get to know us completely and utterly. And with that, we get to know ourselves completely and utterly. And that for me has just been, um, I mean, it's just such an invaluable relationship because it just acts as this incredible opening for every single relationship that we could e we ever have. 